OK, here we are, back in the InDesign page. The page designer or page planner has decided that he or she is broadly happy with this page, but they want to update the two stories in the right-hand column. Let's just zoom in on those. The two new stories up here, top right of the page. Um, let's imagine both of these are getting a bit whiskery and they need updating for the next edition. We've already exported the frames containing the stories and the headlines. We know that because we can see the appropriate icons there, top left of each of the frames. The next task is to link them together as an in-copy assignment for an individual sub or reporter to work on. This is quite easy, so let's get on with it. The first task is to simultaneously select the four objects in question. So go to the Direct Selection tool, select that, Hold down your shift key and then select in turn the two headlines and the two stories. OK, so all those four elements on the page are selected. Now let's go back to the Edit menu. Drop down again to In Copy. But this time when you get the Flyout menu go to Add Selection to Assignment. Now if you've already created assignments you get a range of options here as you haven't the only option is here it's to create a new assignment so that's what we'll do click on new and you'll get this dialog box now the first step is to give the assignment a name we'll call it right hand news column there we go with that uh, you've also got the option here of assigning this to a specific member of the team. You don't have to do this and it doesn't prevent anyone else from opening it and working on it but it can be a really useful way of keeping track of who's working on what. We'll assign this to our legendary sub lunchtime I can spell correctly, type slowly so that I get it right lunchtime O who's brilliant sub whoops let's change that to uh, that, there we go, lunchtime old booze, it looks as though he's been on it already here. You've also got the option here of giving it a colour. This means it'll be highlighted in this colour on the InDesign page so that we don't forget that we've assigned this area of the page to have a colleague. If you have more than one assignment on the page, it's useful to have different colours for each of them. We'll make this one red, assigned red, and before we finally save, make sure you're happy with where InDesign is going to save it. Here's the destination. By default it'll set up a new subfolder for the assignments which is quite handy. There it is, National News Page Assignments and uh, we're happy with that so I won't change it. I'll just click on Save and click OK and off we go. The assignment is set up, it's highlighted in red on the page and it's ready for a colleague to work on in InCopy and that's what we'll do next. Incidentally if you do this and it doesn't change colour go into your view menu and drop down to here and make sure you haven't hidden the assigned frames which I'll do now just to show you what happens. Uh, if you do that it'll turn the colour off so uh, if it looks like that go back here and click show assigned frames and there you are, it's inherited the colour we've given to it.